Hi. Okay, so I've been asked to do a uh, short uh, video tutorial on how uh, my picking technique um, works, uh, primarily the right hand technique. So when you um, when you usually pick, or when when people usually learn to pick, they 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 uh, they get taught to hold the pick a certain way. And I've seen that most people, uh, you know, have their own special technique on how to hold the pick. But in general. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're taught to hold it like like this. So, let me see if I can get this on the camera. Like this. So, when you play like this, this is sort of like the typical strumming. And if you want to, if you want to pick some notes. Okay, so uh, the problem with this technique for me personally, and everybody you know has their own way of doing this, and for some people this works fine. The problem is that the distance between the strings, the movement between the strings is quite quite high. So if I move the pick between, uh, let's say the fifth string and the and the uh, fourth string, and it looks like this, just keep an eye on my right hand. There's quite a bit of distance uh, between those. <clears throat> And that's fine if you're doing a lot of, uh, you know, kind of chromatics. As long as you're not moving too, um, too much up and down the uh, strings, you know, vertically, uh, it's fine. But I noticed um, when I was fooling around, uh, you know, watching the way George Benson holds his pick. Um, that he he holds it actually differently. So so like I said, this is just to recap. This is the way that we're kind of all taught how to hold the pick like this. Most people anyway, like this. And now there's a slight difference in that it's held. It's held like this. So it's almost like the pick is an extension of my of my first finger rather than it being. An extension of my my first finger going this way. It's an extension of my first finger going this way. Now I take that and put it sideways on the strings like this. So if you see, look at the way that I'm look at the way that I'm holding the the guitar, and if you look at the way that I'm holding the pick now, it's uh, it's much more of a uh, finger and and wrist movement than when I was holding it like this. So this is the standard way. And this is and if you notice, there's a there's a completely different uh, uh, tone coming out of out of the guitar. So let's just take one note played traditional and this is played the way that, that I hold the pick which is kind of let's see it standard now <clears throat> The big advantage of doing this is that the movement between the strings is reduced. So instead of this quite long movement between between the strings, it's actually a very very brief brief movement. And most of the most of the um, of the movement actually comes from the this this shape that you see on my hand here this here <clears throat> it's that part of my hand that's moving and it's being aided by uh, my wrist so it's it's not a movement like this coming more from 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 the elbow it's really coming from those two fingers uh, you know the thumb and the, and the first finger and my wrist now the um, the beauty of holding uh, this is that because this, this this shape sort of stays in position all the time, um, you don't really have to think so much when you're moving between strings. And 
you have a lot more control over um, of, over where you're going uh, rather than having to, you know, think about okay, am I going to make or am I going to make that uh, uh, that jump between the, between the strings? It's very natural, and 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 the pick just kind of flows over the strings this way. Now, <clears throat> the classic uh, sort of Benson picking, as people call it, uh, when you hold when you hold the pick. Hang on. So they they usually say that you know your 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 front finger has to be bent bent this way, and you know and 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 you see a lot of people holding their pick down here, um, and that's okay. But I I personally find that quite uncomfortable uh, holding the pick that way, so I started practicing this for a long time. And after a while, I noticed that moving my arm a little bit up, more like this, so that it's really coming down onto the strings at a diagonal like this, and not bending my 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 first finger that much, but more uh, holding it loose like this. So you see, it's more of a of a, a natural kind of extension of my of my of my arm. It's very natural and it's very easy actually the movement here uh, allows you because there's not that much movement going on it allows you to pick, pick quite a bit faster than if I was doing it like this and doing like this I, I notice right away there's a lot of tension between the pick and the string I can hold the pick then a little bit looser and then I can probably go just as fast but you see there's quite a bit of movement going on there whereas I'm doing this First of all, it sounds a lot nicer, and it's much, much, much easier and a lot more relaxed. And I can keep going like this for 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 an hour, and and, and my my wrist is not going to get tired. So it's really I'm using uh, the momentum of of my wrist uh, to to hit the strings, and because I'm hitting them at this um, angle, it's almost as if as if the pick is not hitting it, uh, hitting the strings. Uh, you know, with a um, um, directly on, but more at a, I wouldn't say perpendicular, but uh, definitely at a, at a, about, let's say about 45 degree angle to the, to the strings. And this sounds, sounds really nice. For both string, for both chords and, uh, and picking. Now, when people talk about this uh, this Benson picking and you know you know this trying out this 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 uh, funny way of holding the pick, um, one thing that they never mention, and I think this is really the trick to smooth picking and and um, not necessarily speed. I, I don't really do this because of the speed. I just do it because of the fact that uh, I, I like the way that it sounds. Uh, and it gives me a lot better control of the of of uh, you know the pick with my right hand, but what a lot of people don't mention is that the left hand plays a really really important role, and um, if you use this technique, then generally it's a uh, it's a it's a type of alternate picking, meaning it's always an up down up down up down up down picking technique. But if you watch when I'm playing. I'm not really doing that. I'm I'm whenever I'm doing a sweep, I'm going down 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 or up up up. Like this. See there's this It's really an economy picking way of doing it. However, if when you're fingering over here, if most of your lines have four notes per strings or or some even number of strings, then you will tend to do a lot more alternate picking, and that will make this picking a lot a lot more relaxed. So it's 
So this is kind of typical. You see, I'm trying to stay on the string as much as possible before going back up. Uh, you can play it like that too, uh, which will be more of a vertical uh, kind of positioning, but I'm trying to do a lot more diagonal runs. And by doing these di di uh, diagonal runs, it tends to lead to uh, even notes on each string. And doing that, uh, sort of lends itself very much as a kind of picking technique. So instead of I do so you see this this kind of moving that's very important to this kind of picking technique and that's what gives you this sort of smooth movement It goes also in the same direction, uh, going up. See? Like this. Okay, so that's a kind of short primer. The real key of it is 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 not holding the pick like this, but holding it like this. Some people have said this is kind of like the way Roger uh, uh, Adam Rogers uh, holds his pick. I don't. I'm not really sure if that's really the case. Um, he's a great player. I'm nowhere near in his league, but I, I've seen I've seen him play, and I, and I do see sort of similarities with the way his hand uh, is on the guitar. So I think they they are similar. Anyway, this is very 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 comfortable and easy, and not at all. Um, there's no tension at all in my hand, in my right hand at all, and it's because of the fact that there's there's not much movement. There's not much movement also to get to the next string because you know the the distance from here to here, going like this, is a lot bigger than if I'm just going like this. Yeah, the the the, the pick is almost touching both strings, right from the start. So if I want to move from one string to the next, it's really such a tiny movement. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's how I do my uh, right hand picking.